Oh man. Also, if you're still around, how you been, Moose? I know I kind of asked you earlier, but um, I like rarely ever get a chance to like actually like respond back chat. Like, obviously, like when you stream and stuff like that, like I can obviously like ask you questions and stuff, and you can talk back to me. But like, this is the opposite. <laughs> um, I'm always curious how what everything's doing. Like, obviously, you said Siggy's been needy. How's Namine going? She um, is still quiet and shy. Azula is still adorably plush and chunky. Um, she is asleep upside down, her little belly exposed, and little pink beans all exposed in um, her bed. Very cute. Um, what else? Phoenix has been super, super cute too the last couple of days. So usually he's like really neurotic and kind of like just paces around the house patrolling non-stop. Uh, he does like, he goes door to window to door to window kind of thing around the house just kind of like looks to make sure that they're all closed and or obviously if one of them's open he'll look out and stuff but um did i mark that one that's more coal right there i didn't okay so there's more coal right here um but yeah what phoenix has been doing is like he's been like bun loafing in different areas of the house and he's such a tiny loaf like, he's such a mini loaf of a cat. It's so cute. I found him mini loafing out on the uh, top back of the couch in a sunbeam earlier today. I wasn't expecting to find him there. I just saw, like, the silhouette of a cat. I'm like, oh, okay. Uh, that's where he is. And then later, he was on the bed, and it was such an obscure thing for him to be in this particular spot on the bed that even Azula frizzed up and, like, skulked into the room all low, being unsure, like, who the fuck this cat is. Like, that's how hilariously uncommon his behavior was. Um, but then he also, when I was doing my editing and stuff today, because obviously I had to wait until I came back from the doctors, um, and it took, took forever because obviously, like, trying to convert nine hours of a stream into, um, YouTube content is a bit of a fucking effort um, and getting it all down and re-uploaded re onto YouTube and shit. Um, so I ended up like running the aircon and stuff in here and um, Phoenix actually came in. Both of them came in and loafed in their little beds, but Phoenix was like this like perfect little like perfectly risen little like toasty loaf looking thing. It was so cute. It was just one of those scenarios where like, I was looking at him and I'm like, you haven't done this for ages. I kind of forgot that when it comes to summer, Phoenix actually likes being in a cold room, sleeping in a warm bed. Like, whereas in winter, in winter he's cold all the time because he's such a fine breed and he um, doesn't have a lot of, like, he's got fur, but it's very fine and it's very thin and short um, as her basically type of cat he is. But, um, yeah, he doesn't hold a lot of warmth and he doesn't have, he basically doesn't have much in the way of body fat or anything like that. So it definitely, um, he feels the cold. And so he does everything he can to warm up, but he won't lay in a bed generally much in winter, even though he knows that it gets toasty over time. He would rather absorb the body warmth of a person or lay in front of a heater and, um, you know, get all roasty toasty instead of like actually like warming himself up um i'm almost done with this i'm pretty sure i think it's just this last slog of trees how we going yeah it's only this little tiny fucking cluster here and then that should be it for this unless i've missed some there is a chance that i may have missed like the old one because i did kind of squiggle around in all sorts of directions as well Ah, oh, I'm getting my yawn on. So I didn't end up obviously getting much sleep today. I had like a couple of hours. And the most hilarious thing was I like briefly woke up when Nick came home and scared the ever-loving shit out of me. Which of course scared the ever-loving shit out of him. It was pretty fucking hilarious. Um, just very slightly lagged. Usually, oh, it's the plane. I was going to say, usually when the game has the tiniest bit of lag, it's usually a horde. And I've come to learn that it's usually something spawning in, and then in that case, the plane was spawning in. Makes sense. Where did that drop? Because I'm the only one on, it's my responsibility to mark up where this is. Um, drop. Sure. 
that's not drop, but sure. There is actually a lot of nitrate here, though. There's one, two, three, four in that area. Although that one's oddly shaped. They're usually always square, so unless somebody's partially mined that. There's lead and there's iron, though. There's a heap of stone. I'm actually mostly impressed that considering I've been out here for as long as I have been with the chainsaw, I've had, what, two zombies, a wolf, and a dog attack me, and that's it. Really should be a lot more considering it's been like two nights. I have to assume that when Nick was downstairs in his basement that he had the walking hordes going past him. Because there's no other way that we could have zero zombies basically for a couple of days. Even with low multipliers. Um, it just seems not right. Kind of expecting them, but at this point in time, I'm almost just fucking expecting like a pack of dogs to spawn or some shit. You know, the extra special care package of fucking seven days. It's the dog spawn. Also trying to get my stretch on so everything doesn't hurt as much. Also, when my art stream uploads to YouTube, um, it will upload as a singular... Well, almost a singular day. I think I've got it almost all on one day. Um, so it will be like a few hours on that one day that um, there's a couple of like uploads, more uploads than usual on that one day. But um, it's the only way I can stop it from being like a mile ahead of Twitch. Because obviously I started my YouTube channel one month behind I started um, Twitch. So Twitch is one month ahead of YouTube at all fucking times. And I don't really, like, I don't have a problem with it being one month ahead. I just don't like it being more than one month ahead. And it's starting to get more than one month ahead, and I don't like that. Um, so I'm trying to do what I can to kind of limit that with where, when my uploads to go. I feel like that one might be one of my plants. I'll have a look in a bit. I'm not seeing any tall, fluffy trees out here. Let's get up here. Yeah, I would say that, that one is probably one of mine. It's a little far-fetched, it's a little far out there, but it could be one of mine that I planted. It just doesn't fit in with the other trees that are here. They're kind of like variations. I know, it's a natural spawn. Doesn't matter. It, it apparently stood out enough to get taken down. Let's see, give me my axe back, please. Okie dokie. So the only other thing I could do is I might not do mining straight away. I did mark up three coal here. Which is really good. If there's going to be a lot of coal here, I have got no problem with mining that. I might go ransack some snow towns for a bit. Um, I will see what kind of resources I'm low on. Beyond cotton. I know I'm low on cotton. Um, we're always low on cotton at the moment, unfortunately. That and to make blue duct tape is really what I'm needing the cotton for. But... Um, yeah, I'll also have to swing past next base and get a beaker as well if I can find out where that is in his base. Um, oh man, I feel like she's like walking slow, but it could be just everything processing. Like mentally, I'm just like, yeah, this could go faster. I could also just be like basically in like the warp zone of like, um, what do you call it? When you get like almost delusionally tired, more or less. How's this going? This is still growing. There's a lot of... I did plant a lot of cotton, but I planted a lot of potatoes. We need that. The problem is, when I get the potatoes again, I'm not going to be able to harvest and eat them. I have to harvest to make them seeds again, because I just need that many fucking potatoes for the recipes. It is literally the only thing holding back my recipes at the moment, is the lack of potatoes, which is incredible, honestly. Give me that. I figured I had enough from this one. To, yeah, make one more stack. Is it there? I don't need feathers. I could have just literally put that in here. Fuck it, I might as well. I figure I might as well. I fucking brought it home. Put that in there. Got, let's see, extra seeds. How many seeds are we up to now? So we have got 1,033 pine seeds. 134 snow seeds. I think jasper seeds. I think they're jasper. Blue spruce, sorry. I'd like the sound of that though. Blue spruce sounds like a nice name. Um, let's see, 140 oak. 
So we definitely have more than a thousand seeds, obviously, because that's a thousand. But it's more than, more than, oh, actually, hold up. Got what? Thousand six hundred fucking eighty odd, more or less, maybe thousand. Oh, I, I lost it. I was getting there. I, I just lost it when I tried to add in that and I saw like the 30s and the 30s and my brain just went, was that 80 on the end for 80? I think it was 80 on the end, actually. It's fine. I just, ugh. Uh, it's, it's, it's tiredness. That's all it is. What are you doing, Azula? You're still too hot in your bed. you got to go lay down over there. Oh, sweetie. Okay, so yeah, I did end up getting some of that. Not much, but I did bring back a tiny bit. I will need more of that later. I don't feel like the sound of mining. I can make sand and stuff from these, so there's never much of a concern with that. I always end up with a lot of stone, unfortunately. Um, can I have... I saw that you took that. Uh, I have eggs and stuff like that on me as well. If I can fit the water in there. Um, I actually want the yucca smoothies mostly in my stack. Let's see, I can drink you, drink, eat, whatever. Um, that fills her up with food and water. I can put these back in here. Or put you in the next one down, actually. Hold on. The fuel one. Uh, so I don't really have much in the way of fuel itself. But I am going to travel up to snow areas. Have a look up there. I should also go past cotton fields. I should actually go up this side. I'll tell you what, I'll do that. I'll put a waypoint there. And I'll go out that way. I also didn't get any more like special stones or anything like that. That's working. That's off. Cool. All right. And I just to double check your empty, right? Yes. Okay. So she's got food. She's got repair kits. I don't have any health or anything like that. I'll probably need that now that I don't have that. So let's close you up. Okay. So I kind of want to go over that way with the view that I want to go up and up that side. My hope is that either I manage to get some level of, say, I go past like a cotton field and I could stop and pick a heap of cotton, and or I end up up at potentially, I think it's a Savage Country store, which I've been meaning to go to for like three weeks. It's been there. I just haven't gone to it, which is kind of funny, honestly. Um, it's just, I don't know. I um, keep mentioning, oh, I got to Savage Country and then something else pops up. Or the biggest thing is it happens to turn into like Blood Moon Day. And I'm like, God damn it, you know. And there's nothing I can really do about it at that point. Um, I probably should have looked up when Blood Moon was gonna be. I probably would have been a smart thing to do because I kind of didn't think about that. Um, we had Blood Moon at some point... I think maybe at the start or the end of last week. I can't quite remember. Or Monday, sorry. I am trying to remember. There is a bit of cotton out here. There's a little bit. There's there's some here. I might grab the cotton here. Calm down, mate. I can hear you. Here you are. Alright, so I'm just going to line up. I want to get up there um, so I don't get where I'm going because if I don't I won't remember where I'm going but yeah it's good I've got the extra harvesting thing so not only am I doing this but it does give me a heap of seeds so the only problem is I'm gonna have to turn all these into seeds and not actually cotton itself because even though I've got like a crop of cotton out at the moment there are some over there I've got a crop out at the moment, but what's going to happen is as soon as I pick all of those, um, I'll only get like probably about half back of the seeds and I need to have basically an entire crop field at once going of cotton just to kind of be producing enough to have what we actually really need as a like group. Um, especially since duct tape is so fucking important recipes and it's difficult to get the ingredients for it like I've got a fair bit of water I'm stockpiling water for recipes like food recipes mostly but if I have to I can throw them into um, the other ones you know what I should have done though 
I kind of forgot to show you guys Nick and Grim's space now that I think about it. Fuck's sake. Um, that wouldn't take me very long and I can read their water so that um, I have to go back over. I'll read their water things since they're offline. Um, that way we're not like it's not like it's wasting it. It just can't keep um, spawning in water for them and I might as well grab whatever I can reach. Like, I don't think I can grab Grimm's beyond the one that he's got out the front. Um, but Nick, so I can grab his that are up front. If I grab them now and then I come back past later or, um, Horde Night happens or something like that or whatever, whatever the case may be, if I've got them, they'll respawn another day anyway. So that should be good. Now, my only thing is I don't want to head towards that icon. I don't think. That's towards my bed. The guys should be over this way. Because I'm pretty sure it was like basically semi-parallel. Nope, I'm going sideways. Sideways to stuff. Yeah. Right. Okay, so I'm out running you, chicken. As I rightfully should be with a fucking motorcycle. Could you imagine if the chickens in this game were faster than the motorbikes? How scary would that be? You see these chickens like running around like a flash. Like, it just reminds me of um, when... There was a time in PUBG where everybody seemed to have this like speed hack thing. So you'd be sitting there minding your own business. <coughs> Sorry. You'd be minding your own business. And then next minute, you just have this like person, this other player just go flying past you. And then they'd come back. Like in the moment while you're sitting there so stunned, you'd be sitting there and they come back and kill you and then fuck off again. And you'd be like, what just happened? That was a big thing for a while. It was so fucking annoying. Um, especially since I'm not quite sure where the temptation for a lot of people to... I don't know. I don't understand the temptation for people to use hacks and cheats and stuff in most games anyway. But that's just a personal perspective of not understanding that kind of stuff anyway. But um, yeah, it, just that one in particular was always kind of a little ridiculous. Alright, grab the water. Again, how's this going? Still plenty of logs, so still it's got nine more stacks to go, so that'll be just the two stacks there. That should be fine. I might as well grab them and put them in the box here so at least they're doing stuff. Um that's gonna start refilling from here. I'll head over to Nick's space. I'll show you guys in through Nick's. What was that? I better not have been a zombie over towards Grim's base. Leaving it all open isn't actually a bad idea because if the screamers and stuff like that come through they're less likely to destroy anything um, because of it. Oh, it's actually got a lot of water. Okay. These two are on the verge of turning into things, so I might check them on the way back out. But I keep hearing this thing. Oh, he must have a generator in behind that. I was going to say, I'm like, I hear something when I get here, and it always makes me briefly think maybe it's a car, and it's not. But yeah. I do love the fact that you like did such a fucking solid job mining down this fucking straight ass line. So let me just put away that so it's darker and turn that off so we get the ambience. So yeah, this is what he was doing. He put the cat thing up there. There's lockers and stuff. This looks nice though. This wasn't here at the start of the night and this room. He's done so well. Like that was the nature feature that I was talking about. How cool does it look? It looks awesome. It's got like a couch so like... A living space. I'm guessing, knowing Nick, he'll probably put like a TV or like a game area or something here. But I like how this wall, this overall looks. Like what I was talking about is it's got like the cutout behind it. It reminds me of those like, it's halfway between like a museum wall where they have like this kind of like cut in ambient locked in sort of place behind glass and or like those tables where they do that kind of thing. So, yeah, he reckons there's a light up there. <coughs> Sorry, that's apparently like also helping up here. But yeah, water cooler thing. They got water in it. You have this water. Um, and this thing. I like this. I like this a lot. That's yeah. That's kind of like what I was talking about. It's like the um, nature sort of thing. So when you build like, I think it's like supposed to be like diorama type stuff, right? So um, you kind of like build a scene behind. Uh, the models and stuff that you build and whatever. And this kind of thing reminds me of it, but it also reminds me of like those nature waterfall walls that like really like 
uh, what do you call it, like new age homes and stuff tend to have. It's kind of cool. Um, yeah, and the sides are cut out. He's got coal and stuff in here too, for God's sake. But, yeah, he's got this vending machine. Obviously, people can buy stuff. He hasn't set anything particularly expensive, which is kind of cool, except for like 10 grand for a motorcycle. But I think the traders asked for like 30 grand, I think, to buy it. Just going to have some of my drink while I'm having a browse through here. High performance. Ah, that's right, his green shoes. Hmm. Interesting. I didn't realize he had rocket frags. And it's like a little cooler. I like that. I saw this and I'm like, he needs to get, when I saw this specifically, I'm like, oh, he needs to get a um, water thing. And he's like, walked over here and showed that. I'm like, ah, I see. Yeah, I, I do like this though. It's nice. Oh, I didn't notice this. Empty beverage cooler. Nice. Right next to it. And yeah, he chose that one. I like that one as well, actually. It looks really cool. The paintings and artwork and stuff in this, like, look really great. I'm curious if Fun Pimps actually, like, commission something or if these are, like, replicas of, like, something that exists out there kind of stuff. Like, obviously, to some degree, Fun Pimps would have to have, like, some kind of fucking artistic rights or something to it uh, for putting imagery or whatever in their, um, in their game. But still, it's still pretty cool. All right, uh, before I forget, let's check these ones on the end. We're almost done. Not you, these two. Okay. Um. All right. So I might just... Oh, shit. That better have been the ground that I hit. I'll leave that there. Oh, there's a speaker. So, yeah, I'm going to actually need that. I might as well just tack, take the stack of the water. I think these were mine. Well, not that, but this one was mine that I gave him. Probably that one, actually. Yeah, so he's got a heap of uh, cloth. Oh, wait, he's got a second one of these. I'll take that. I need that for my um, uh, for my fucking chainsaw and my auger to both have one. That would be so great. All right, so back over that way. I'm not going to ignore Savage Country again. I'm actually going to go fucking over there. Um, I'll just drive through Grim Space. I wonder if I can get that chicken on the way through. That'd be so great, wouldn't it? I feel like this side has gotten... I feel like it's somehow skinnier, but I think it's just because I'm expecting, like, the width of this fucking area. I still think that door is, like, a little bit too much. I kind of, like, not sure what the game was thinking when it had, like, massive ass, like, width-wise doors versus, like, height-wise, but I think their garages in this game are always a little bit excessive. No, oh, sweetie, you're so sleepy. She like is all so cute. She every time she like moves and like lays down and stuff, she kind of like has this big sigh. And just as she's about to fall asleep, like she lets out like the biggest sigh. Like it's such an effort to just fall asleep. It's so cute. There is a lot of cotton here. I will stop and grab some. That zombie may catch up while I'm here, but if it does, whatever, it's fine. I'll kill it. Doesn't? I don't have to worry about it then. Just while I'm in the green area. Like, this is the only problem where when you're not running around, like, you don't tend to get grass and cotton and stuff. Uh, there's no cotton that way. What about this way? See, there's a plant there, so maybe on the other side? Nah, not for a while. It's fine. Worth it. Got a little bit more. And keep going. So, yeah. Because um, I gave, like, a thousand plus grass fibers to Grim. So, I'm actually down quite low with my grass fibers but um that's not that's not really too much of a problem um it's not like i need a lot of it in this game it's only used for like so many small recipes and stuff ah oh, there's a heap of water up here that's right there's a big lake here i haven't approached it from this direction ever yet so that was really interesting holy shit it's actually almost night time how did i not notice that Either way, we'll go for a quick sightseeing one all the way up here. I'm pretty sure it's on the other side of the water. I'm pretty sure it's just up over there. And I could probably go up to the road here. Actually, I might as well. Might as well take the road. I feel like if I don't, something will happen. I also desperately need to actually repair my bike now that I look at it. There's a dead chicken. All right. 
I'm curious how long these things stay spawned because I don't think we've been through here recently. You prepared that. I know you'll take at least two. Three. Yeah, it's close enough. No, I know it's close enough. I'd rather be uh, like under than wasting it over. For sure. Um, so this place should be a... Yeah, it's a savage country. So I traditionally just die every time I come near one of these fucking places. Give me, mate. Um, that's like the first zombie I've had to deal with for a while. If I could just boop you. Don't run away. Good. I... Jesus, it was already dead. I don't think we needed to double tap that one. I'm pretty sure it was pretty well confirmed that chicken was dead. All right, well, this doesn't look like it's lootable, but it would be scrappable. So what I was looking at doing was, obviously I need cotton and stuff, but I wouldn't mind getting a few bits and pieces resource-wise. And I haven't really done... I haven't come out here and I haven't done scrapping and I haven't done much else for a while so I would like to do that before we just don't have fucking the resources that we need. Anything like this where it's like mostly missing stuff, I get the feeling that the guys have already like pre-scrapped a little bit. Especially because of where we are. Yeah, they would have done a bit. There is cotton here too, actually. There's a lot of cotton. I need that. I can't not pick it. Like, yes, Nick has got heaps and heaps of cloth, but I actually need the seeds. Once I've got um, probably about a hundred odd cotton seeds, I won't need any more than that. I should be able to produce enough of my own. But each other batch that I don't make into seeds is a problem. That's 200. How many does it require to make it? Five. So about a stack of 500 should do it. All right. This. So yeah, if I could find a stack of 500 cotton and then I'll just make it down into... Um, uh, what you call it? Seeds. I won't get any, hopefully I won't get any like engines or anything for this. I don't really want that. I just want it to be just like mechanical parts, electrical parts, whatever I can get like that kind of stuff. More so than like the good shit, you know? There's more cotton, but it can wait at the moment. It's coming on to night time. And while I generally do die, Going through this place, I will give it a go. Let's see how I go. I normally just die. Get in here, probably. No. I mean, I could just get removed the mannequin and stuff, and I would be able to get in, but I'll go in the proper way. Hey, Waver. How you doing? Um, welcome in. Hmm? Where are you, love? Greeny. Oh, shit. Yeah, this is the thing that always surprises me is I always get a whole bunch of zombies attack me right at the start here and I'm not expecting it. You're very full. Did you just have dinner? Did you have spaghetti? Uh, is that a, that's a bunny over there. It's fine. Um, <laughs> you wish. <laughs> well, um, if, yeah, if you're very full, what did you, what did you have to eat? Did you... Did you have a special meal? So I see you, love. Where is the guy that's lightly snarling? Uh, you did, but you made noodles, which is also really good. Nice. There you are. You went full circle, mate. Good job. I like this thing. This looks very nice. I wonder... I don't think I can craft ashes like that. Oh, mate. Oh, you didn't need legs. It's cool. Um, you ate too much of it. Yeah, I um, I find it's very. Oh, I find personally it's very difficult to eat um a lot of noodles. Um, but then again, I also just struggle to eat a lot of food. I'm not doing a clear or anything like that with this. Um, so I'm just trying to clear out the zombies that are in here for my own safety throughout the night. I need 